y'all. Sending you all love and light. Thank you for coming to another class. Today we are going to be prepping to get into plow pose. So make sure that you have all your props. Um, we will be using a blanket today and a chair. So make sure you have those close by. Don't forget to subscribe, check out my TikTok, and let's get into it. Let's begin by taking some breaths together. Standing however is comfortable. Closing your eyes if that feels good. A tall spine. And inhale in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. <sighs> inhale once again. Expanding that belly as big as you can. And exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Take a few more breaths here on your own pace, leaving your worries behind. You are here to make time for yourself, invest in yourself. The outside world does not exist in this moment. And on your next inhale, bring your arms up overhead and we'll exhale, fold, pushing that butt back. Doesn't matter if you can come to your toes or not. You can also come to blocks. Whatever feels comfortable. You can keep a micro bend in the knees. Relax the neck. Find some sway in your fold. Just feel that stretch in your back and breathe. When you're ready, find stillness. And then inhale, halfway lift. Your hands will come up to about your knees. Bring your back, sh your shoulder blades together to have that flat back. And then exhale, fold once again. And then we will inhale, slowly rise all the way back up, arms overhead, and exhale, hands to heart. Okay, my friends, now we will take it down to our mat. So you can follow along with me if you'd like, or you can get there however you would like. Inhaling the arms up, and exhaling, folding once again. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold, and then bringing your hands to the blocks or the floor, coming down to your mat. And we're gonna go into some cat cows to warm up that spine. So, coming into table, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, sticking that butt back. We are going to inhale, push that butt out, arch the back inwards for our cow, and exhale, curve the spine, point the head down, bring the tailbone in for cat. Inhale, cow, and exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, and exhale, cat. Now go ahead and flow through some more of these, maybe about five or so, on your own breath. And we'll meet back in table. Beautiful. Now we are going to bring it down to the mat on our bellies and we're going to get into locust pose. So coming down to our mats on our belly, your feet bottoms will be on the floor. Same with your hands, your palms will be facing up towards the sky. And you're going to inhale, engage your core simultaneously, lifting up your legs and your arms off the floor. 
Now your arms, you can turn your palms in together almost as if you're holding a ball because we don't want your arms to be out here like you're flying an airplane. We want to make sure that they are parallel with your body and your legs are not also splaying out. They should be hips distance. And then exhale, release. Let's go ahead and try this again. Inhale, slowly bring those arms and legs up, holding that imaginary ball between your hands. Gaze straight ahead. And exhale. Now, for a couple different variations, you can choose to either just do your arms or your legs. So if you want to choose to just do your legs, you can bring your arms in front of you to place your palms down on the mat to help give you some more support. But we want to make sure that you're using your core, you're engaging your core, and that's where the power from this pose is coming from. So pushing gently into the mat with your palms and then inhaling those back legs up and exhale back down. Inhaling those back legs up, you can also uh, clench the glutes for some extra support. You'll feel that mu the muscles working there. And exhale back down. Now, if you just want to focus on your arms, bringing your arms out in front of you like you are Superman. And then when you inhale, bringing the, sorry, I know you guys can't really see because I'm splayed, bringing those hands out like you are holding the ball. So, Superman, palms together like you're holding that ball, and then inhale, bringing that chest up off of the mat. Try to keep those elbows straight, those arms straight, and exhale back down. You may feel that you automatically clench your glutes, which I know that I did, but try to, again to make sure that that power is coming from your core. So, inhale, lifting your chest up off the floor, arms straight, gaze ahead, and exhale. Now you can also try to just do one arm and one leg at a time. So, for example, inhaling your right arm and left leg, and exhale down. Inhaling left arm and right leg, and exhale down. Now, you can also choose to bring your blanket here, fold it up how you need, I think this might be good, bringing it under your pelvic area to help also bring comfort into the pelvic area because it can be a bit tight or a, a bit hard on the floor. Or you can kind of bring it up a little bit more onto your ribs. Just kind of find where that comfort level is for you. And let's go for one more full locust. So, feet, uh, feet tops on the ground tops of hands on the ground, palms facing up. Inhale, imaginary ball, gaze ahead, arms straight. Hold for three, two, and one, and exhale. Beautiful. All right, now staying where you are, we are going to get into bow pose. You can keep a blanket here for bow pose, but you might want to move it up a bit more onto your rib area. And you may also need a block. So, back down to our stomach. You can choose to grab one or both legs at the same time, but getting into essentially the same pose as you were in in locus, you're going to bend your knees to bring your heels close to your butt. And I prefer to grab one at a time. Grabbing the top of your foot, the arch of the top of your foot, on each, making sure that those knees are close together, and then pushing from the pushing the tops of your feet into your hands, inhaling up, and then exhaling back down. Now we want to make sure that you don't bring your feet all the way out here, so you can also come to your toes to hold on to your toes in this pose. 
You can also help train yourself by keeping a block in between your feet here so that when you grab, you're making sure that your knees aren't splaying out and you'll be working those inner hips. So go where you feel good, bringing those feet bottoms as close to your butt as you can, and then grabbing either both at the same time. Let me try my, my right first. Everyone's a little different, making sure those knees are close together, pushing my feet bottoms into my hands on my inhale, bringing that chest up, that gaze forward for bow pose. Hold for three, two, one, and exhale, release. Slowly let go of your feet, no slingshots, and bring them down and breathe. Y'all did that. Okay. So I think it's time for a little water break. One moment. All right, y'all, camel time. So we will be coming up onto our knees, so go ahead and add a blanket or pillow onto your knees for some support. They will be about hips distance apart, and your feet tops will be um, down on the mat once again. You can bring your blocks to a little bit below, probably by your ankles, on the outside of your legs. You're going to inhale, place your hands on your lower back for support, and Exhale, curving the back, pushing your hips forward, and this is where you can come to your blocks or you can come to your heels. Wherever you are, make sure that you breathe. And when you're ready to release, inhale and then exhale, use your core to rise and probably knock over the block on your way. Now, if you need a little extra height, you can come to your toes. However, this does put a lot of pressure on your toes. So it can be a lot. So if you wanna give it a try, make sure you still have your blocks there. Once again, inhale, arms on the back, lower back for support. And then exhaling, curving the back, pushing the hips forward. Coming to your blocks or your heels. See if you can drop your neck down a gaze behind you. Inhaling and exhaling. And when you're ready to release, inhale and exhale, use the core to rise. Relax those feet. Maybe you wanna sit back on your feet if you were on your toes. And then we are going to get into wheel pose. So, for wheel pose, there is also a bridge pose variation. They're very, very similar. I'm not very good at either, but it's really good at helping warm up the spine for plow. So coming down onto your back, making sure that you Scooch that goodness out from under you so that you can make sure there's no space between your lower back and the mat. Making sure that your shoulder blades are flat on the mat. Bend your knees and bring your feet, your heels, up as close to your butt as you can. Now, the main difference between wheel pose and bridge pose is how far apart your hands are from your body. So for wheel pose, Bending so that you are bending your arms so that your elbows are pointed towards the sky. Your palms are face down so that your fingers are pointed towards your feet. When you inhale up, your elbows are knocked in together, making sure that they're not splayed out. This is as far as I can go for my wheel pose. I don't have the shoulder strength, but I can do a bit more in bridge pose. So if you bring your hands out just a bit, maybe about an inch, and then inhale up, you see how much higher I can go, but still making sure, exhale down, that your elbows are not splayed out. So whether you choose, I'm still not sure about that. 
So whether you choose to go into wheel pose or bridge pose, go there now, feet bottoms close up to your butt, and inhale your body up, breathe, and exhale back down. Oh my gosh. And there you go, your wheel slash bridge pose. Now, it is time for plow. Are you guys ready? I'm not, but let's get into it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So for plow, grab a blanket if you need and line it up with your shoulder blades so that they're just coming over the top of the blanket. You don't want your blanket any higher than that. And the best way I like to describe plow to people is like when you were a kid, you would throw your legs up in the air and you would try and roll over to do your cartwheel. That's essentially plow because the goal of plow is to bend your legs over your body so that your toes touch the ground. I cannot do full plow because I got way too much tummy and way too many thigh in the way. But I'll show you and tell you a couple variations. So one, very simple from wherever you are, just inhaling your legs up. You can hold your back here for support and a little extra height. This is an immersion. You can stay right here. If you want to take it a little further, you can go ahead and grab a chair. So once again, lining yourself up, inhaling the legs, maybe reposition your chair, <laughs> inhaling the legs up and then exhaling, I can almost do it, <laughs> to come down to your chair. But wherever you'd like to go, if you are an advanced yogi and you can bring your plow all the way down to the floor, I would love to see it. But wherever you want to go, get there and let's breathe. Inhaling, breathe, let your blood flow, the energy flow, maybe you try and go a little bit further, engaging the core. And when you're ready, on your next exhale, slowly let one vertebrae go at a time, especially if your toes are all the way down to the floor. And then come down to release. <sighs> Take a couple breaths here because that was a lot. Be kind to yourself. And when you're ready, come back up to a seat. I will meet you there. All right, y'all, get into an easy seated pose, whatever that means for you. I'm choosing to be on my knees. Um, you can choose cross-legged, legs out in front of you. Like I said, whatever easy seated pose means for you. Go there now and let's breathe. <sighs> Closing the eyes if that feels good. Hands at your sides or on your thighs, relaxing all the muscles in your body. And let's inhale our arms up. And then exhale back down. Inhaling arms up once again. And then exhale down. One more, biggest one yet. Inhale, arms up, up, up towards the sky. Inhale just a little bit more. And exhale. And let's get into Sravasana, my friends. So let's lay down on our mat. Backs flat, scooching out the goodness from under you legs down, palms facing up to receive energy, palms facing down to dismiss your negative energy back into the earth. Grab a block or a pillow or a blanket, whatever you need to get comfy here. I encourage you to take several breaths here. 
while you get your breath back to a normal pace. And this will be where I leave y'all. Let me know what you thought of this practice. How was your plow? I would love to know. And namaste.